Grab your glasses, everybody. It's time for a Moonshine Safari. Welcome, everybody, to Moonshine Safari. Welcome. Hey, how y'all doing? Glad you're here. We couldn't hear you respond. Why yes. was that? Where's the applause? Where's the applause? Ah, uh, and the crowd goes <sighs> silent and crickets. No, okay. hey, everybody. We're so glad you're here. And with this is episode 46. Woohoo! It's my age. <gasps> oh, you just gave it up. Look what you just did. You did. Yeah. See, well, what's know. cool about Dina is Dina doesn't get all wrapped up in that kind of I lived all those years. Stuff. I mean, stuff about happens all those years. years and stuff. But I'll tell you what, she looks way younger than 46. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. It's true. I look like I look like I'm 86 and she looks like she's like 26. Now, I'd oh, say sure. you look more like That's so silly. I'd say 36. I'd say you're about you you look like you're in your 30s, late 30s. Personally, and I'm not just saying that because I sleep with you, but that's true. <clears throat> hey, it's shine out time. Shine out. Shine out. Hey, everybody. Happy June. Happy June. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Can you believe we're into the sixth month almost? Happy June. Shine out Holy to June. Majoli. By May. And welcome to summer. Because we went from, I had a 100 degree day down into the 70s, down cold at night. And now we're in a flat high 90s. From now until well, up until well, yeah, until we get the, the hundreds and, and yeah. hundreds. so we're in it, dudes. We're in it. We're full blown. So hashtag shine out to summer. <laughs> like, summer. like we have a choice. All right, exactly. So it's getting hot in here. Take off all your clothes. All right, it's getting hot. I'd in like here. to give a shine out and a happy birthday shout out to Lily. You know who you are. Happy birthday, Lily. Happy uh, birthday. Also. I'm going to give a shout out to all of those folks who are experiencing all the devastation, destruction throughout the Midwest and all these crazy yeah, tornadoes guys, you know, that are happening. Remember everybody over there. They said there's been like 500 in the last few months. It's been wild. It's been pretty crazy. So, um, yeah, those of you who live in that tornado alley and crazy places, please man. be safe. Yeah, please, please take care of yourself. Please. And I know it's. Uh, and anyway. I know that sounds ridiculous. To I say, lived but... in that area once and um, experienced a couple of tornadoes myself. And I never have. I mean, Arizona no is hot, but we don't Something get a lot of that weather. you don't forget when you're little. You don't forget those things. Um, also, a shout out to Pampered Pets Grooming. Yeah. Oh, you know what? man. They are awesome <laughs> Yeah, job. if you need a mobile grooming service, that is just In the awesome. East Valley especially. We have four dogs. We told you about them. are crazy dogs. And um, it's hard to get them all in one place. You know, we all four working around and doing stuff. It's hard to get them all, you know, track them. And we like to keep them all in one thing. So we have, we found this person and Pampered Paws. She does an awesome job. Peppered, uh, Pampered Pets. Pam. Or, or Paws. Pampered Pets. Pampered Pets. I don't know. I got to look. Um, or yeah. Pampered Paws or something like that. Anyway, she's, um, but she's she like it's a mobile grooming you'll if you have it. animals you'll know like a lot of times when you get them groomed they're it's, just really super hyper afterwards because they're sort of freaked out um they're not like that with her so they're pretty chill with her it, i'm really happy yeah oh and uh last sunday we went to phoenix fan Fusion. we did or Generically, Comic Con, you can't say that. You're I guess, not really supposed to say that. Can't so call it that because fusion. people get their panties in a bunch. It was good. Right. It, it was good. We saw some cool stuff. A lot. Man, oh man, all the stuff. And it was bit Okay, for me, it was. I felt it was busier. I did too. On Sunday then. I did too. Yeah, I thought it was. There were more people. But everybody was nice and everybody was patient and there, were, there was no craziness. It, it seemed. It was just nice. And I'm not a big crowd person and walking around like that just makes me anxious and. I, but you know what? It was fine. We had a good time. Everything was good. It was really good. It was really good. We thank Robin for driving us out there. It was awesome. Um, also, we want to give a shout out to our vets and those who are deployed. Yep. Always. 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 Um, also, noobs, new listeners. We have some new listeners we like to give shout outs to. Uh, Reese Schmidt. What's up, Reese? What's Reese. up, Reese? What's up, homie? We appreciate you listening. Thank you for following. Israel Natanov. What's up, homie? What's up, Israel? What's up, Israel? Yisrael. Uh, Star Crystal Band. What's up, Star Crystal Band? I'm going to check out some of your yeah, stuff. Yeah, we are. 
We uh, love we love checking out new music. Yeah, we do. In fact, I've got some new ones to talk about today. Woohoo! Um, and classic R.I. Thank you guys so much for following uh-huh. and listening and doing all that stuff. And all of you can listen to our previous 45 episodes. If you just go to moonshinesafari.com and you go to the little podcast thing, and there they are all, all listed. And when you and get down to the bottom, you'll know everything about us. There's a, at the bottom, it goes, go to list two, and you click on that one. And then there's a whole other list of the next ones. And then at the bottom of that one's a click one. And you know who did all that, organized all that? That's Del Toro. So big shine out to Del Toro. And how he keeps all of this stuff getting posted and uploaded and Thank goodness. edited and all that good stuff. So give him some love, you guys. All right. Um, I think that's it for Sounds the like opening me. shine out, except for one thing. Choose life, everybody. Choose life. Yep. Okay. All right. Coming up. Music time. What music. are we listening to? I don't know. Something new, something old, something borrowed. Something purple. Something blue. What's Dana listening to? What's Josh listening to? Welcome back, everybody, to Moonshine Safari. Welcome. From? Gilbert, Arizona. That's right. And beautiful Moonshine Safari Studios. In the cool. In the cool. In Under the, the cool. Fan. In the house, right. It's music time. You guys should share some of your music. Oh, I didn't turn my phone up again. He never turns his phone off. Like Guess that. what? I do. Yeah, who cares? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I probably should turn that off. But you never know when oh, someone well, needs us. Real life, guys. That's real right. life. That's what happens. That's right. Um, they don't care. Nope. Right. So you guys should send us some suggestions. If you guys know some local bands here in the Phoenix area that uh, you think we might dig, and by dig, you kind of know, if you've been listening to the show, you kind of know our genre. We like country, we like Southern, we like rock, we like some pop stuff. We're not into screamy, yelly, mosh pit kind of stuff, okay? But that's, not, for, that's for you guys who like that stuff, and that's great. That's not my stuff, okay? Not really current pop either. Well, you know, like 80s for kind me. of stuff. Like if there was like 80 co- 80s cover bands, kind of like that, 90s country cover bands, yep. that kind of stuff. That's that's what we're talking about, but, you know, bands that do that kind of thing. Yep. Um, you know, local venues and things like that. That'd be great. Send us some suggestions. And if you are part of a band who would like some promotion, we want to hear. Let about us know, it. and yeah. we'll promote you and we'll give you some special shine outs and some stuff like that. So let us know, and you can do all that at Josh and Dina at MoonshineSafari.com. And just so you're aware, we're not going to be mean about your music. <laughs> Probably if we don't like it, you just won't hear anything. Yeah, just be, you know, I'd say you suck. Well, I won't. I won't be judgmental because my music is yeah, questionable. Anyway, Whatever. Dina. My dear Dina, lovely Dina, what have you been listening to? So I've been listening to your song, Hey. Hey. That's not it. That's not it. And, um, okay, so on Amazon Prime lately, if whoever primers out there, I don't know if that's really the term, but anyway, <laughs> um, Little House on the Prairie was added to Prime not too long ago. So we're even really, even at work, unless I'm listening to Hey, I'm listening to Little House on the Prairie because I watched it so much when I was little. And I haven't watched it in years and years. And right now I'm kind of just having it play in the background. I should put hey on iTunes so you have to listen to it and get all those listens until you learn it. I just play it. No, I'm saying I should put it up there so then you have to go to iTunes to listen to it. it, Now that's true. I'm not that smart. (laughs) And I'm too lazy. But thank you for listening and trying to learn the song. Yeah, we have a cool song. I think you guys will enjoy it. He does have a good song. He has a couple that we haven't put up. It's kind of fun. Um... Anything else you've been listening to? Besides the stuff I have on when I'm listening. Not really. I mean, you know, I've been... Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh excuse she's me. You guys are boring us. No, gosh, dang it. It's been crazy. Um, but, no, I, you know, we've just been so busy lately. It's Everybody been hard for does. me to... Everybody's been busy. Just They don't care. No, I'm not saying. I'm just saying I have a hard time getting no, into know. some of that stuff right no. now. Oh, I know. I, I'm just teasing you. We I like to poke fun at her, so you guys should know that by now. I've been listening to dun, 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 Blackberry Smoke, of course. And it was just announced that Blackberry Smoke is going to be coming out with a live album that they just recorded at the shed, at the homecoming, and a DVD. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. I'd love to go to the shed and see all that because that's like a that's like a two-day thing and it's like a 
big old deal. It'd be kind of fun. It'd be kind of cool. Either that or the or the one in Atlanta. That'd the one, cool at, right? I knew that there was one in Georgia. Fun. I guess that's the homecoming one. Atlanta is the homecoming one. But the shed is like a reunion, like a brother and sister reunion. Um, that would be fun. Um, I was been listening to Rare Earth. I think I mentioned that to you guys before. Rare you did. Earth. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this new group that I discovered, really new, Magnolia Bayou. Now get. Figure out what that kind of music they sing. Oh, absolutely. Magnolia well, first of all, all you have to Bayou. hear is Magnolia in general. Exactly. And you know where it's at. Well, they're kind of cool because they have like this funky, kind of psychedelic, Led Zeppelin-y, bluesy, southern rock vibe. It's kind of cool. It's different, and it's but it's cool. It That's works. Awesome. Yeah, it works. So I'm going to be listening and digging a little deeper. And um, So Magnolia Bayou. Check them out, man. Magnolia Bayou. Check it out. Yeah. Check out. All right, Magnolia coming up. Bayou. It's Red Mexican or Mexican Word of the Week. Woohoo. That's me. I'll be right back. He'll be back. Let me find the button, button. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Welcome back, everybody, to Moonshine Safari. Moon? And I'm Josh. I'm Dina. I don't think I told you who I was. I don't think we said it yet no, this I don't time. Think so. We usually say it a lot. I'm not editing in this. So if you don't know who we were back then, now you know. Now you know. <laughs> this is Dina. Now and you that's know. Josh. Right. Hey, it's time for us to tickle your funny bone, or maybe, or embarrass ourselves, or tickle, I don't know, tickle. piss you off, or I don't know. I don't know what we do. It's Mexican word of the week. <gasps> and like this always goes, I have the Mexican word of the week because I'm the whitest of the white boys in this house. And Dina does and the redneck word of the week. Because I because am she is half married Mexican. to me. <laughs> right, we right. do we do opposites. <laughs> That's it. We do opposites. So the Mexican word of the week chicken wing. Chicken uh, wing. <laughs> she's like thinking because how is he gonna I'm do that? I'm trying to think it through. Chicken wing. My wife bought lottery tickets, so chicken wing some money. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Coming up. <laughs> Peeve of the week. The week. It's time for Peeve of the Week. Welcome back, everybody, to Moonshine Safari. Ooh, I'm going to get some hate mail probably for that one. Chicken wing. Ain't nothing about that, ain't chicken wing. Chicken wing some money. That's it. Hey, peeve. Peeve, peeve. of the week. Okay, I got it. What are you peeve. peeved about, Josh? Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. And I know this is just being nitpicky, but it, it bothers me. Okay, so last or this past Monday, we uh, honored the fallen for Memorial Day. Oh, I got where you're going. <laughs> you got where I'm going? Uh, that day is set apart for those who have paid the ultimate price in service in our armed forces for the country right 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 this is not it's that's why it's memorial day right it's in it's memory not of... veterans day people and and here's the thing we support our vets Absolutely. god we love our vets we loved it we support our vets i got friends i got family members vets Look, I'm not taking away from that. We remember them every single day. And there is nothing too good that this country can give our vets. Exactly. Uh, We don't have, there's no issue with that. It's just that, what is that particular day for? Right. And And this is just my peeve, right? This is my peeve. This is what peeves Josh, right? Cantankerous Josh. It's when you start thanking everybody who has served and is serving and has... uh, and I know this is probably just, well, it feels like you, you, you cheapen it a little bit by spreading it out because yeah, they, they, they served and maybe, you know what I mean? And thank God for them. Exactly. And we do, and we pray for them and we, we support them, like I said, all the time. And we remember those that we've lost more than just on Memorial Day. I get it. I get it. I'm just saying it's a peeve of mine. It's a special day set aside for the ones that have died in I the think, line of duty. I think what happens, in a, and I think it's probably just the climate of today, too, where people don't give a crap about stuff, and then everything gets muddled into one, and then it gets forgotten. Yeah. It gets forgotten. Well, and okay, to be fair, <laughs> even the idea of saying the words Happy Memorial Day, that doesn't work because it's... Right. not happy it's not the idea is you're you're i you're, never wish anybody a happy memorial it's day almost ever. like a little bit of a it should a be solemn day, it should be know? solemn it should be and you know 
if you want to grill and be with your family, it's no great. Thank and God. we're not telling and you, you not to do that. We're not telling you not should, to have fun. But also Just remember, remember exactly. Remember when you're serving, when you're standing there freely grilling your whatever you're grilling or or cooking and serving on the day that you have off. And some of you probably get it's a paid holiday for you. So. And if you're, you know, remember why you can do that in this country. The next time you go on Facebook and are criticizing, mm-hmm. remember that our Just Congress people and our president and our our judi- judiciary committee and all that stuff, it's because they paid the price for us to be here and be able to say what we believe. Right, right. So we can say. So that's my peeve, and I know. Look, if you do, and that's fine, and that, and you say, Nah, Josh, go piss up a tree. I'm gonna do what I want, and that's great. Do what you want. In fact. I support that. I support you doing what you want. It still goes to the same thing. Absolutely. That's exactly right. <laughs> that's exactly what I support. All right. So that's my peeve. And it has nothing to do with the pro tip that's coming up next. Right? Okay. Sure. She's looking at me like, oh, crap. <laughs> Deer in the headlights. Let's do it. Okay. Here it comes. Maybe. We'll see. Pro tip of the week. Welcome back to Moonshine Safari, everybody. That's Welcome. Dina. Welcome. That's Josh. Uh-huh. Yes, it is Josh. Yes, it is. Cantankerous Josh. That is me. Hey, we got a pro tip for you. We do. We do. So here's where we're oh. at, guys. You know what it I'm is? I'm ready. I don't know. Did well, you? let's see. Okay. Let's see if it's right. No, go ahead. You start. No, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see if so you get here, it. So here's what's going on, guys. Um, rates are dropping. Ah, there it is. Okay. That's it. And... Um, Basically, Freddie and Fanny hit just below 4% for the first time in a while. Um, some people are saying that we are on the edge of a recession. Some people are saying we're already there. It's hard to tell, but either Depends way... Depends on what, which market indicators that you look exactly, at. Exactly, and who you're listening and if you, to. Right, and, uh, but I would probably tell you, <laughs> yeah, we're probably in the beginning. If we're not already stuck our toes in or our, our feet up to our ankles, we're getting there well and here's the thing let's be fair you can't just go up 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 the Mm -hmm. economy is cyclical it has to be so you have to have periods of growth um and then steps in between which were periods of of sort of more we can talk about why that happens but that's not normal we are in a position where now um your money goes further because the interest rates are low so if you're on the fence about buying don't be it's time to it's time to move um, if you're in Arizona, California, we can help you yeah. with mortgage and real estate contacts. Um, and look, the inventory is not plentiful. No. So, and the prices are just going to go up. Right. And here's the thing also, if you say, well, I'm just going to keep renting then. Okay. Your rent is going to keep going up too. Rents, oh, yeah. rents do nothing but go up. Absolutely. You've had really small times of um, a little bit of backward, but it never goes back all the way to where it was before. No. Your rent will keep increasing. Yep. And so eventually it's it's not going to pay you, especially once you consider tax benefits and stuff like that. So That's right. Um, also, if you're considering refinancing, this is the time. Get it moving. Oh, yeah. Um, you can maybe do, you know, put some improvements in your house. You have kids going to college in do the Do some fall. debt restructuring. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. And a lot of, in fact, you can restructure your debt and actually be debt free and i'm not just saying just with the house debt i'm saying you can be completely debt free sooner even by pulling cash out potentially Ooh. if you're disciplined so um like i said you want to know more let us know right then those programs are for disciplined people right <laughs> not yeah anyway well All we, right. we, well, we can, can discuss it. that exactly. we need to talk and, and i'll be honest with you i'm, I'm not that disciplined and i would be, struggle with the with some of these programs myself but uh, yeah, give us a call. You can reach out to us in any of our messages, places. Um, Josh and Dina at Moonshine Support. Yep. All right. We want to hear from you. Yep. All right. Coming up. I don't know what the hell we're going to talk about now. I think Dina's got some pages. We'll be I up do. in a minute. In a minute. Shh. Quiet and listen. It's time for Marriage Story of the Week. Welcome back to Moonshine Safari, everybody. Welcome, guys. I'm Josh. I'm Dina. Welcome today. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. There's the voice. Hey, we're so glad you're here today. And this is usually the time where we talk about our lives Whatever. and stuff. And In the beginning, everything. when we first started, it was all about gonna, kind of the yeah. chron- chronology of our We wanted to give you some background. Kind of where we're coming from. And now it's just kind of whatever. And we're going to throw... Hits our fancy. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> I like it when I get hit in the fancy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Dana's got some pages and some some crazy topics she found on the internet or some stuff, right? And she's going to read them. Sometimes I like to do crazy she stories. She wants to talk to me about them. And I like to get them. Josh's um, Reaction. reactions to some of the crazy news that's out there. So, um, this Oh, is I got to stop you. Okay. All right, everybody. I got I to gotta inform you. Okay. Please inform me. Dana got a toy. Not um, that careful. kind of toy, you disgusting mind, pottery of nine. <laughs> Not that kind of toy. She got a brand new camera recorder thing or a a Nikon D five hundred. So she's learning how to finagle that thing. I am. So at some point, we're probably gonna. Go we video. might go video. We just haven't done and it yet, scare and the I haven't learned. Bahubis out of all y'all. Just means I'm gonna have to do my makeup, but I haven't learned. <laughs> How to do how to do the video yet. I'm wearing a mask. Um, I'm, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm exactly. telling you guys, I'm going to wear a mask. You're going to see me looking like, um, I don't know, Harry Potter. Anyway. Um, all right. So. Cool. All right. Yeah, so throw that's it at me. Be soon. What you got? All right. I'm ready. So I found some crazy stories and I think they're fun to, like I said, to run by Josh and just get his <laughs> ideas on them because it's, it's, Cause it's I have crazy entertainment ideas about stuff. Yeah. She's like, so, oh, what am I going to. This story has, it's kind of evolved. It actually started by, um, the headlines were about a woman um, marrying her 300-year-old pirate ghost. Okay? Wait. Yes. So this the story the story first was that she had married this ghost um, and said that they were going to be really happy. Um, now, the woman who married her 300-year-old pirate ghost, she needed an exorcism because they had a violent breakup. Josh. I, know where to start. I feel like we're in an episode of Bewitched. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I, well, first, I, I, I'm, first thing that goes to my mind, I start seeing scenes of True Blood going to my brain. That's uh, true. I yeah. like I said, I saw Bewitched. Oh yeah. So, well, <laughs> that's funny. You you picked the G-rated 1970s show, and I picked the rate almost double R rated. Q rated. Oh, is that, that a, tells is that... you guys a lot about me and her, doesn't it? All right. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about it. Okay, first, where are they from? Are they from Florida? I've, no. <laughs> They're from Florida. <laughs> I'm just wondering because there's some crazy mofos in Florida. So the pirate is a Haitian pirate. Okay. And um, where is she from? The The story appeared in the Mirror, which is a UK paper. Okay. Um, Woman, let's see. I'm looking. Sorry. You guys <laughs> liking to hear me. Uh, I was just wondering if she was from Tennessee. I'm just wondering. No, I actually think Alabama. she might be from the UK. Okay. Well. <sighs> so she married. A she used 300... to work as a Captain Jack Sparrow impersonator. Oh. So, <laughs> so whatever she did <laughs> to they, make they herself old... act like Captain Jack Sparrow whatever maybe she thought she took the whole rum drinking way too seriously it's true and she they won't they were only married two weeks so it was it okay. was a flash hey, here, okay uh, also okay okay forgive me because i'm not catholic okay and i've You're seen forgiven. the exorcist and read You're the forgiven. book okay but Do you exercise the marriage? Don't don't. It doesn't exercise mean that well, you're see, possessed but by he's it. He's a spirit. Is the spirit up maybe in after her? they knew each other in a biblical sense? <laughs> That's what I meant. That maybe. Oh no no! Does he have a peg leg? <laughs> Wow. So next question. <laughs> see, that's where. <laughs> see, this is why I like to ask Josh about these kinds like of stories. Does he have a peg I, leg? I mean, I, the, the idea of a peg leg didn't even enter into my head. Does he have a hook? I don't know. He's Haitian. Does that matter? He's a pirate. Right. Does he have a clock? <laughs> and a parrot? Oh, Does it tick tock? <laughs> is there a tick tock going around? Tick tock. Oh, that's funny. Ah. So she, yeah, that woman's got some problems. Somebody needs to take her and well, observe her brain. Let me ask you this, though. Is it possible that she's just trying to get... Some attention? Yeah. No. People don't do that. And Are they, you kidding? I'm get famous this way. No. By being the crazy uh, lady stop. because she married the ghost. Like, wait. 
didn't somebody marry a tree or something just the other day or they married some some inanimate a mountain or some, i forget somebody married some they, they've had a few thing. stories out there about people marrying themselves yeah weird stuff i don't know whatever anyway okay aren't we already kind of married to ourselves i mean well i mean you're kind of stuck with the with yourself are you yeah, okay. yes it's well, true okay on to number two i am happy next you're stuck with me okay i love reading this story because it makes me uncomfortable anyway teen gets his penis stuck in a drain pipe and has to be freed with a circular saw all right so for all you parents that were listening to this just now um you have to explain to your kids what a penis is okay all right. <laughs> At least I use the correct <laughs> vernacular. Uh, that's true. It's just a biological term. And if you guys are getting all upset, you know, don't get your underwear in a bunch. That causes penile problems. Anyway. <laughs> um, oh, dear God. What? I yes. mean, what? Okay. I thought it stuck. Okay. Okay. Everybody's thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Uh-huh. Yeah. How big was the pipe? Okay, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> Liar. No, I'm thinking. Was it an outside pipe? I'm thinking. Was first it an of all, inside pipe? What, How big around what was the pipe? entered into your head that that would even work? Okay, well, that's the second question. Because, see, we're more practical. We want to know. I want to know. How big was the pipe? <laughs> I'm trying to see. We want to know. I did is, see a picture was it like, of it, but was it I like didn't a, have it. Was it like copper tubing? <laughs> it was a metal freaking pipe. They had Copper's metal? It. Oh. No. Oh, I get what you're okay, after. I, hello. I'm picking up what you're putting Ooh, down. Barely. Um, no, it looked like thick. Okay, the picture I saw of it looked like thick steel. Like a thick, freaking thick pipe. Like. Okay, no. <laughs> yes, more like that. Oh, dear God. Okay. Okay, but it's a picture. I, You know, how... how Mm, accurate is that in well I don't know. it's true and first off we don't know if that was the actual um opening just because the pipe was that big where they cut into it it could have been the opening could have been much smaller <laughs> the you know what um, I mean? this happened in <laughs> malaysia like, by the way malaysia yes oh well malaysia you should be proud <laughs> if you're from malaysia you should be proud yeah um not that, not that things like that doesn't happen around here. I knew uh, somebody, uh, I heard a story of someone when I was growing up um, um, that got stuck in a vacuum cleaner, had to get it called a police call and get it removed. See, the so. problem is, I guess what they're saying is that once he attempted to do whatever he was attempting yeah. to do, he got swollen. Okay, I'm sorry. It'd still have to be, yeah, um, anyway. 16. Anyway. Dumbass. Can oh, I say yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Please don't let that one procreate. Just give him a give him a pipe and put him in the backyard and don't let him Call multiply. his pipe. Okay. Whatever favorite girl name he wants to call it or boy name, whatever. Anyway. All right. All right. Next. Moving on from well, that made the boy me feel with the pipe. All right. <laughs> anyway. Um. So there's a couple out there that adopts disabled goats. And now they have adopted a duck that can't walk. And these... <laughs> you should, okay, see, this is why we need to be on video. Because you guys don't get to see Josh's face. And this is part of my fun. Uh, <laughs> he looks confused. I am. <laughs> trying to figure out what a disabled goat is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god okay anyway poor little so, goat like in a wheelchair <laughs> no the they do you should see the pictures i don't have them i didn't want to put the pictures too much ink and... um yeah no they have them these little like got a little you know, cane you, with a red tip have you, have, you, <laughs> have you seen the dog wheelchair things do they have where goat they pull sign each language other? huh have you seen the dog wheelchair things where they pull yeah i've off? seen the dog ones they're like that they have like the, they have the duck that's on not one fair of them. because goats climb on shit dog that Sorry, one. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that guess what? That one doesn't. <laughs> uh, that's so mean. You kind of have all the animal haters. Well, it's not people. my. No, they adopted. So what do you do? It's, you, it's a if nice If you go story. to goat yoga, do you have to pay extra <laughs> for the disabled goat? <laughs> it's like well, we we charge extra, but if you give them an extra dollar, we can give them some alfalfa. 
<laughs> I mean, I don't know. I know. I feel like I'd be heartless, but I mean, come on. You, okay. So bless their heart that someone loves disabled goats. Somebody's got to. Why are you laughing? Because of the look on your face. <laughs> I'm trying to understand. Okay, okay. I'm honestly, no, okay. that's why Seriously. I look confused because I, I don't understand. Okay, see, okay, I'll, I'll say what I think, honestly. Okay, I've seen, first of all, it's it's different in some ways to me. And I'm not a PETA person, so don't start yelling at me. But it's different in some ways to me than, say, a cat or a dog or, or, or something that's normally a pet. Yeah. I've seen dogs without one leg that's because we're mostly city people and we didn't grow up with that's true in the country but like i've that. seen dogs that like have been hurt or maybe were born oh with that yeah leg. and i think and cats and stuff. i actually true. want them even more because i yeah, feel bad true, for them true. so i guess the the people that have adopted well, i think that's maybe where my confusion are... is coming from because when i think of that when i think of disabled pets a goat is not the thing that pops in my mind no because i don't think of a goat in my a mind i'm thinking Back in the day, if a horse breaks his leg, you take care of the horse. You don't give him a prosthetic. Yeah, can you make a prosthetic for a horse? I don't. I don't know. Anyway, why can't you? Um, but see, and I think with a goat, I mean, you could, could you imagine like the it's... horse races with all prosthetic bionic legs? By the... wow, like, that'd be crazy. But I mean, a goat can give you milk. Not so, all goats. No, well. <laughs> That's the female goat. <laughs> really, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that. I appreciate that. Um, That's what male goats can't do. Duck. <laughs> what is a duck? A duck really quack. just can, yeah, quack. I mean, you, you have you one can foot. Cook you couldn't a duck. fly. Hmm? You can cook a duck. You can. You well, can cook I don't a understand. goat. Where's no, I'm just, I'm just trying to think. Of how I, I guess, I mean, that's what that's what's hard for me because, like you said, we grew up in the city, so when we talk about pets, we're usually talking about cats and dogs. I mean, I'm glad. That people no, and I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just it's but, okay, different. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so how does this work? So, so I'm a goat farmer, right? Okay. Okay. And it's goat baby time, <laughs> right? Right. Right. And goat babies come out, and ones, and we have some disabled, disabled goat babies, right? Right. So. The humane thing is to call is what call the disabled goat saving people yeah. and they come and <laughs> and, and raise it and take care of it. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying. <clears throat> I, I don't mean, know if that's how it works, or okay. is it for is it for people who have like like you said, people have pet pigs and goats and stuff like that. They don't. They're not raising them to eat or anything like that. Um, I don't know why you want a pet pig, and I know people say they're smart, but they're disgusting. Anyway. Okay. Well, this is how naive I am. I never even considered the fact that, like, if you were a goat farmer, some of your goats would be born disabled. It just never even entered my consciousness. I'm just saying. And that's well, dumb because yeah. it has to be. That well, has right. to be. I just never Don't thought you about remember, it. like, on even on Little House on the Prairie and all those plot times when there's a, the horse or the cow that's getting ready to give birth? Man, it is like, a, and they are so worried because, well, a lot of times it would either kill the mom or they would be born and that's dead. That's their livelihood. That's their yeah, livelihood. Absolutely. They can't afford to go buy another cow. That where the milk and the butter and all the stuff comes from, sure. and a lot of that stuff they sell anyway. So they use it for themselves and then sell it. And exactly, so yeah, you treated them better than you treated. Oh yeah, no, no, you anything. had to, you had to, yeah, exactly, you had to. But yeah, well, you know what? God bless you if you are a person who is passionate about taking in disabled animals. Seriously, that is amazing. Good for you. And I'm not being sarcastic or snarty or anything like that. I'm being serious because that is cool. I just, it never dawned on me because I think of dogs and cats. Right. No, exactly. I need to open my mind. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. There's some things that shouldn't be pets. I'm just sorry. There's a snake should not be pets and spiders and lizards. I'm sorry. Gives us the EBG. Sorry. The guy got bit on the arm the other day. He went to Florida. He went to, he's like 50 years old. He went to the bathroom. He's probably like me. Freaking four o'clock in the morning because your prostate's all swollen up and you got to pee every five seconds. Everybody's and you really open the door up that. and he opens up the toilet lid and freaking Python in Florida. Balled up in his toilet. Yep. Reached out and bit him on the arm. One. Thank God. I saw one that not too long ago that got bit on the butt. Yeah. And that's messed up. Okay. All right, everybody. Do you have any more? Is that it? Uh, that's those are the three I got. <laughs> Man, I hope you made. If you if you already turned it off, 
I don't blame you. I would have turned it off too. Okay. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Liar. All right, coming up. Drinks and recipes. It's a recipe and it's not a drink. Coming up. Coming up. B. Get out your glasses. It's time for the Moonshine Safari Drinks and Recipes. Welcome back, everybody, to Moonshine Safari. That's Dino Welcome, over there. And that's Josh. Hey, it's me. Hey, it's Drinks and Recipes time. And it's not a drink. It's not. It's not. Hey, I want to let you know. know. It is. Oh, I bet you do. Because it's been like like twice this week. We've had Oops. Butter or wait, last week it was like buttermilk was, biscuit day. It, well, it was buttermilk biscuit and then, and then biscuit biscuits day. and gravy and then there's biscuit day. Oh days. man, it's like every biscuit day. A lot so. of biscuit days. So I've been working hard on the biscuits and I think I told you guys before we got some of that white lily flour, which worked out really well and did really good and we liked it. I finally got into it. So if you go to it's our named Instagram after page. Josh. If you go to our sorry, I had to burp. <laughs> if you go to our Instagram page. That's beautiful. You know, next time I'm just gonna bleh, right there. Um You'll, you can see pictures of our biscuits. You can. It's on the little thing that Dina it's makes every day. And you should go there anyway because yeah, she posts some so cool crap up there all the time. That, that, well, some of the biscuit pictures I've put up there for like the day of the week um, have been our biscuits. Yeah, yeah, the ones I made. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to give you my simple buttermilk Recip biscuit recipe. Okay? It's very simple. It is, you, first off, you need an iron skillet. Okay? You just got to have an iron skillet. Get one. Okay, it's easy. Be so southern. Get an iron skillet. You don't know how to do it, YouTube it. You, it'll show you how to do all the seasoning and all that stuff, okay? So you put some oil in there. You want some oil that's uh, got a high heat. My mom used to use canola a oil. High smoke, and she, smoke sm point. Yeah, it's a high smoke point. I like to use grapeseed oil or peanut oil or uh, even olive oil works okay. Um, though, if you're, if you're sensitive to the olive oil taste, you may not want that in your biscuit, but okay. But I'll tell you, if you grape seed oil, eat you can't oil taste enough, that. So light, you'll not notice. Oh, it that's anymore. true. So you put you so you put some of that in your pan. About you want it to come up um, about a quarter inch, a little bit on the sides, okay? And you want to heat your oven, preheat it to four fifty, okay? Four fifty. Four fifty. All right. Now, so, okay, your yes. oven might be. To be fair, every oven's a little bit different, so you might have to experiment with that. Yes, a little bit. you might have to. Yeah, yeah. So, but I do it at four fifty. Okay um i've done it at 500 too and it works just fine so it's a little crispier on the outside which it depends on how you like your biscuits um the hotter it's going to have less time to rise so that's kind of you know so all True. right um so you need to okay so while you're doing that while your oven's preheating and all that good jazz you can take you need two cups of bisquick which we like Okay, I don't know, it's a cheap way and easy way to do it, but it works and it's tasty and it's good. Okay, or two cups of a self-rising flour, white lily or gold metal or whatever the heck this is, anything that you want. Okay, your favorite kind of self-rising flour. Got to have the self-rising flour. Gotta have it. Not all-purpose flour, not bread flour, not cake flour, self-rising flour. Okay, and you need some cold buttermilk. Okay. Full fat. Full buttermilk. Full fat. Okay. And we that's don't why want I messed skimmies. up the last time. Yeah. We don't want the skimmies. We want the full fat buttermilk. Okay. And this is just easy. You're not going to have to freeze a stick of butter and shave it. Though I've done it and it's good that way. This is just easy, quick, and you can have all this stuff done in probably about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And you can have hot biscuits. I mean, hot homemade hot biscuits. Hot biscuits. Okay. So what I usually do is uh, if I use Bisquick or whatever, I just get two cups out, put it in a bowl, make a little hole in the middle hole <laughs> i'm doing it with my hand like not, not that you could see make like a little Can't you know you little hole it? and i pour my cold buttermilk in a cup and i pour that in the middle and i take a spatula and i just kind of i don't like stir it i just kind of kick the flour in gently and kind of work it in uh now i noticed that the bisquick is wetter than uh, uh gold metal Absolutely. metal flour and it is but it's lighter it's a lighter fluffier biscuit but it is it's the biscuit dough is wetter when it comes out so it's not going to be all crumbly like you're going to find out but it'll come together you won't think it will you'll be like oh this is wrong and you're going to want to add more flour or more don't just let it'll come together it will trust me it will so flour your uh, countertop and then pour it out on there and kind of work it with your hands you can roll it with a pen i've done that before i roll them too thin and they don't rise i found it easier for me if i just kind of 
work it together till it all comes into one thing, you know, pat it out about, I like to go half inch. If people say quarter inch, I like half inch to three. I like big biscuits and then cut them out with a cut with a biscuit cutter. And then, um, while, which by the way, you said the biscuit cutter worked better than the glass. Yes. Right? A, a, a true biscuit cutter works better. It just does because, uh, it doesn't pinch the edges like a glass does. Right. You can gotcha. just go straight down and then, then you'll get the thing. And I do fold the dough some, so we get some layers in there a little bit when I'm working it and making it come together. Um, so while I'm doing that, and once my oven gets uh, to 450, I take the pan, okay, the, the iron skillet, it's got oil in it, and I put it in the oven for five minutes with nothing in it but the oil, because you're preheating the oil and the pan, all right? So now I'm cutting out my biscuits, I got them all over to the side, and I'm cleaning up my mess, because that's how I roll. I that's clean as rolls. I go. I don't leave a big giant mess. There are some people in this house, not Dina, who is in the kitchen that uses every spoon, every cup, every everything, and leaves it all <laughs> when they Okay, and to be stuff. fair, when, when I taught them how to bake, that's not how I taught them. Uh, well, I'm just saying. So, um, then when uh, five minutes is up, be, be careful. The pan is going to be very hot. Use oven mitts. Be careful. Pull that out. It's very hot. Take your biscuits and fit them in the pan. Squinch them in there. I mean, push them in there. Squinch them in. If you like cat head biscuits, squinch them in tight. Okay. Then you're going to want to take a brush or something or a spoon, depends if you can get to it, and take some of that hot oil that's in. They're going to start sizzling. Now, sometimes I'll just like uh, dip it in the oil and flip it upside down, but a lot of times I'll get burnt that way because that oil is really hot. Right. <laughs> so just take a brush and brush the tops now with that hot oil. Now throw it in the oven for about 10 minutes. While that's going, take some butter, put it in your microwave, melt the butter, have that ready to go. When 10 minutes is up, pull them out, look at them. They look they're pretty close. Butter the tops. I like to do some uh, freshly, I don't know, ground I mean, it's not really fresh ground salt but it's meant it's no, the like sea the salt course, the coarse coarse sea ground salt. it's in a grinder we like that and then the pepper and that's it and i put it back in for two more minutes and until they were golden and then i pull them out turn them upside down they on were the plate. awesome guys and that's they were awesome josh's simple buttermilk biscuits what made you, his mama proud you should try them they're pretty good. Let me know if you do and They're if you fantastic. like them. Yeah, and if they come out crappy, that's okay. Mine's came out crappy a lot. You might have to try a few times and figure <laughs> out do. what works in your oven and yep. all that stuff. Well, that's a that's a show, I think. That's it, guys. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your support. We appreciate you listening and share the show with all your friends Please and do. family. And I'm sorry for saying the S word. I'm not sorry, but it slipped out. It happens. It happens. This is an adult show, by the way. It's not really a kid show. because. Yeah. But even then, I mean, you know. Life. I'm not going to be dropping the F-bomb no. like I normally do. Anyway, that'll be another topic. <laughs> we'll another see. time. Okay. All right, everybody. All have right. a great week. Remember, have an awesome week. spread the shine. Do be good to each other. Yeah, please. Please. And choose life. Yep. See you guys. Bye. Yeah! Thank y'all for coming by the Moonshine Safari. May your glasses be full and your hearts happy. Hey y'all, welcome to Moonshine Safari. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, as well as check the description for information on our social media sites, as well as our Patreon account to help support our adventures in the Moonshine Wilderness.